Alright guys, so in this video we're checking out the Gnarly FPV Mimo, and if you guys saw my previous videos on the Primo and the Primo 3, this is basically just a 2 inch version of those, uh, the same design, uh, unibody bottom plate here, I think it's uh, 2 millimeters thick, and you got this canopy here now, um, the print of this is like, I think it's like a resin, I believe, and uh, they actually were going to replace this, I guess it has some durability issues, so this top part and bottom part here were, were printed in, in some sort of resin and they sent me your replacement parts here they go back to the TPU uh, that they previously had for the Premio and the Primo 3 but you'll see this on here in a later video I built this as a 1S um, for this initial video and I'll do 2S uh, I'm going to swap the motors and do a 2S video later with the updated canopy so you'll see that in a, in a future video but the reason this is 1S is I'm using these 1102 13,500 KBs these are from the uh, Ishin Novice 1 I believe and you can actually source these from Banggood as a separate part if you want and the uh, rest of the stack here is uh, the Happy Model uh, Diamond, oh not that Diamond, the Triangle VTX not the one with the DVR just the regular 200 milliwatt VTX and then you have your Crazy B F4 board here. This one I think is the version 2. So this one will do 1S, 2S, and 3S. And if you do the version 3, that does 2 to 4S. So if you want to do 1S like I did here, you have to get the version 2. I think I picked up this one from uh, Race Day Quads, I believe, when they were having that big sale uh, for like, I think it was like 11 or $12. And that was on clearance. So these are going to be probably harder to find. Uh, if you want to do 1S, then I would recommend maybe the Beta FPV board instead, um, or the Crazed V F4 Lite, that's uh, the one from the Mobula 6, that'll do 1S. So the reason I did 1S on this really high KV motor on this 2-inch prop is basically because it's light, and it's not super light, but it's super quiet because it's only 1S, so you can't really do a lot of acro with it, um, but it is still fun in a nice small space um, if you're going to be doing a lot of sort of like racing or gates, that kind of thing. Uh, this might be an interesting kind of class or, you know, almost whoop style but way faster than whoop but way, you know, still very, very quiet compared to any other micro that's out there. Okay, so this is how much it weighs. 41.3 grams. And the uh, battery I'm using here is a 600 milliamp hour 1S LiPo. I picked up these from FPV Cycle for the baby tooth build, so I just put an XT30 on here. But what I'm going to do here for my 2S build is I'm going to actually take these motors off here because this on 2S is probably not going to be a good idea. Uh, that's going to be way too fast. Um, so I'm going to take these off. I mean, obviously pretty easy just to unplug here. And I'm going to probably put on a some 1102 or 1103 motor, like maybe around 9000 kV for 2S. And since I have an XD. 30 connector it should be an easy swap and I'm going to put these motors on a 1S build on a um, two and a half inch frame the HX100 uh, HX from BFPV so that'll be in a future video if you want to see this on 1S on a bigger prop so I think this motor on 1S is going to do better on the two and a half inch prop so that'll be in a, uh, a different video of course and then uh, for this next uh, video in this series on 2S for the MIMO I will probably put a 300 milliamp hour 2S LiPo with a different motor on here. So everything else will be the same. I'm just going to swap the canopy, the camera, and video transmitter, and the flight controller will be the same. I'm just going to swap the motors and the canopy for the 2S video. But here is a couple of 1S flights. Um, you know, it's pretty docile. You know, for those of you guys who are looking for all out speed and everything, this is not going to be for you. But if you're looking to fly in a smaller spot, Maybe in a place where you don't want to disturb people. This is really quiet, so this is, uh, you know, if you want to fly in 1S, this is a good setup, and it's not going to disturb people, and you're not going to you know, draw a lot of attention or attract a lot of attention. So, this might be something you might be interested in. Uh, check out the parts list down below, and here are the flight demos. Okay, so this thing is super quiet, obviously being on 1S, so if you want to fly in a spot where you might get noticed, then 1S is going to be the way to go. 
this is a bit of a heavy side for 1S and 2 inch props. So it's not a, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's a freestyler. I think it's a small, like smaller and outdoor spaces like this or a larger indoor space. You could possibly do some gate racing like this. We'll try and go around some of these trees. But it's definitely not super fast. I think where I'm sitting here around these metal buildings, you know, a lot of um, reflection, multipath interference. So I'm seeing a lot of flickering in the video. Still flies pretty good. I think I need to perfect the tune a little bit more. It's a little, uh, something's a little bit off about it. I'm not exactly sure what. But it's flying all right. Woo, shouldn't have gone around that, that pole. I think I'm getting towards the end of the battery here, three minutes. So we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, I'll show you another flight here in a second. We'll try a little bit more open area now. Only has a little bit of prop wash on these hard turns. You just need probably a little bit of tuning adjustment. It's super quiet. You can barely hear it. So I'll try to go full throttle right next to me here. It's full throttle there. <laughs> yeah, it's not noisy at all. So if you're looking for something kind of fast, like not super fast, of course, but kind of fast and fun, smaller area, like a park. You don't want to disturb anybody. This might not be a bad setup. Although I think personally I would, I think on this motor on 1S, I think I would go with the two and a half inch prop instead of the two inch prop. This is my personal preference, but uh, it's still gonna be a little slower obviously on the two inch prop, but you know, it's still pretty fun. Nothing, nothing wrong with it. Handles pretty good. I don't think it's going to be so good for acro. I mean, you could do some flips and rolls and stuff, but like trying to, ooh, trying to do like a split S, it doesn't have the power to recover because it's kind of heavy. But for like this kind of, you know, if you have gates or whatever, small gates and like going around stuff, this is totally fine for that. But I think I'm going to move these motors over to a two and a half inch frame. You'll see that video soon. I have, I have an idea of what I want to do with it and do a 1S and see how that compares. And I'll try and fly it here as well. Yeah, I'm already at 3.4 volts, about two minutes in. This is a 600 milliamp hour 1S, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that earlier. Oh, and I got a little battery warning. Just got a little bit of voltage sag there on that hard turn. Yeah, still 3.4 volts, so I think you're gonna get some pretty good flight time, but I think about halfway through the battery, you can tell that the power 
is way lower than before at the, the beginning. But this is typical for 1S, this is totally normal. And then the pit tune is a little weird on 1S. As the battery gets lower, 3.2 volts now, getting some more low battery warnings. Oh, straggle.